Hey there, this is Ryan Flexfire LED showing you our dimmer and uh, how to put it to use. So you can see on the bottom here it says in and out and there's some V's, there's some minuses and pluses. Have no fear, I'm going to uh, let you know how easy it is to use this thing. Um, you can see that there's an in and an out. Uh, the in is where the power comes from, so from your power supply it goes into the dimmer. It goes either off or on and then it goes to out and that goes to your LED strip so right now we're going to focus in on the in the minus and the plus out of your power supply um, you can either cut off the end and you'll see a red or a red and a black wire if you strip those down um, the red goes into the positive and the black goes into the negative um, for a cleaner cleaner install you can uh, purchase a female DC coax connector which is what you see right here and that plugs into the end of the power supply. So power supply comes to DC coax and then you have these little wire ends. The red goes to the positive and the black goes to the negative. And you just screw it down into the terminals there. The out then goes to, you can do it to extra wire and then to your solderless connector. The positive goes to the red, the negative goes to the black and then the solderless connector obviously goes down at your LED strip. So I'm going to hook it all up for you so you can see what, what it does. When you first go to install it, unplug your power supply and turn this thing to off. And You can see where the wires are going to go in. So the first one we're going to do is the minus which is on the inside. So from the power supply the black wire is going to go into the far left terminal and all it takes is a little flathead screwdriver sits right on there to make it easiest I like to put both the wires in at the same time and then that comes up and secures it down that comes up secures it down then we want to give it a good tug make sure it's in there if the wire is loose, it can start to build up resistance and then cause problems later. Think of resistance as like plaque in your arteries. It just makes everything harder for the system to work. Now, there's a positive and a minus on your LED strip. In the other videos, it, it'll, explain this, it'll explain this more. But there's a plus and a minus next to where the terminals are on the strip where you cut it. We have the red wire is on the positive side of the strip. The black wire is on the negative side of the strip. The red wire, like we said before, goes to the plus and the red goes to the correct sorry. The red goes to the plus, the black goes to the minus. So in this case, in the out, the uh, red goes to the third terminal from the left. Like I said before, you want to stick these both in at the same time makes it a little easier. Secure it down, do the black, secure it down. Once again, give it a good little tug here. Want to make sure that it's all secure and good. We plug in our power supply, and then we have our if, if our LED strip isn't already connected, we connect it. And you can see the lights are coming on. Slowly getting brighter. And then getting dimmer. And it turns on at about 20%. And if you really massage it, you can get it, I mean, down to like probably 5-10% of the uh, potential output of the LEDs. On and off. And I'll show you again what the uh, interface looks like here. So all I'm doing is twisting this this way and twisting it off. Hope that helps. Thanks.